We believe that knowing how your dishwasher works will help when it comes to doing DIY dishwasher repairs. Dishwashers are quite simple machines, much less complicated than automatic washing machines, even though the job they are designed to do is very similar. So, using this hot point dishwasher, let's look step by step at the workings of it. Once the dishwasher has been loaded, it's first necessary to ensure that the spray arms are free to turn and not catching on any cutlery or crockery that may be in the baskets. The detergent dispenser is then filled as recommended depending on the type of detergent used. The door of the dishwasher can then be closed. Next we can select the desired wash program and we can switch the machine on. The machine will now start and will normally go into an empty mode to remove any excess dirty water that is lying in the bottom of the machine. Water will then enter the dishwasher via the water inlet valve. With the machine turned round, the water inlet valve will be at the rear and down at the bottom. If we just tip the dishwasher slightly, we can see it's here and it's what the inlet hose is screwed onto. The washing of the cutlery and crockery is by means of two spray arms located underneath each basket, one at the bottom and one at the top. A large induction motor located within the bottom of the machine is what pumps the water to the spray arms simultaneously. The spray arms have holes on the upper side which water is forced through and is what makes the spray arm spin. The water mixed with the detergent is sprayed from the now spinning spray arms to clean the dishes and cutlery loaded into the baskets. Underneath the large filter is a sump. This creates a reservoir for the induction motor to continually pump water to the spray arms. The water is heated either by a partly submerged element such as this one, which will be visible in the bottom of the machine, or by a remote flow through heater, which is fitted to this machine. Heating takes place simultaneously with the wash action. At the end of the wash cycle, the machine will empty via the drain pump, which again is located at the bottom of the dishwasher. The dishwasher will then enter cold rinse, filling, washing and emptying but without heating the water. It will then finally complete with a hot rinse, filling and washing and emptying but this time with the water heated. The dishwasher will then empty again and the heat caused by the hot rinse cycle will aid with the drying of the dishes. And that's all there is to it. We have DIY dishwasher repair videos online showing you how to diagnose faults and replace faulty components. And remember all dishwasher spares can be found on the Ransom Spares website. So thanks for watching.